With the amount of power in laptops these days, it's no surprise that laptop coolers have become more and more popular since all of that power generates a lot of heat. Now the biggest problem with laptops are the fact that all of that power is jammed in such a small space that all of that heat just keeps combining in there and you can't really use any other conventional cooling methods like AIO coolers or water cooling in general unless you actually want to take it apart and thus laptop coolers were born. Now today we're taking a look at the Red Dragon GZP500 to see whether or not laptop coolers actually work and to see how you can use them in ways you may not even have thought of. Now there's also a giveaway where you can actually win this laptop cooler. Not this one, this is the review unit, you'll actually be sent a new one. And if you are from South Africa, you can actually enter in this competition, link to that down in the description below. So good luck if you're entered. Now first things first, let's actually take a look at the Red Dragon GCP500 to see what you get in the box and how everything actually works. So when you open the box, you will find the actual cooler stand as well as the smartphone holder and the USB cable that you will use to connect the cooler with your laptop. Now if you take a look at the cooler itself, it has five fans that consist of small fans on the corners of the pad and one giant fan in the middle that forces air through the metal grid, which is also there to help with cooling as metal transfers heat much quicker than plastics, etc. At the bottom of the cooler, you'll actually see two buttons and those control the RGB and the fan speed. So if you press the left side, you actually turn the RGB on or off. And if you press the right side, you cycle through the fan speed, which consists of three settings, off, low speed, and high speed. And even on high speed, the cooler is actually surprisingly quiet and definitely more quiet than the fans of a laptop when under load. At the back of the cooler, you'll find two USB ports and one of them will be used by your laptop to actually power the cooler. And the other can be used as a replacement for the one that you're using to power the cooler which is nice, especially if you have a laptop with not a lot of USB ports and you need a lot of USB ports, you actually have that one as a little replacement for the one that you kind of use to power the actual cooling pad. And lastly, the Red Dragon GCP500 has five different height adjustments ranging from flat to around 45 degrees, which can all be adjusted using the metal bar that hooks into the spaces allocated at the bottom of the cooler. Now what this allows you to do is actually use the laptop in any different configuration, whether you're just using it as a monitor with external peripherals, or if you're gonna be using it as a normal laptop where you use the keyboard on the laptop itself and you don't actually wanna type in the air like this. Another great feature of laptop coolers is that it actually allows you to use your laptop in bed without clogging up all of the air vents with your blankets or your pillows. And even though you should probably shouldn't use your laptop in bed, a laptop cooler actually allows you to do that. Now all of that sounds great on paper, but does it actually cool your laptop? And before we actually get into the test, I'd just like to add that in some cases, laptop coolers does have a negative effect on a laptop and it can actually prohibit airflow to get into the places that it needs to. And thus you can actually be heating your laptop by using a cooling pad. And of course you can still use a cooling pad without actually turning the fans on if you still want to use it in bed or you just want to elevate it or you just want to angle it a little bit more. Then of course this could work as a stand as well, but in some cases it could actually negatively affect the airflow of your laptop. So just bear that in mind. So the results I get could be different from the results you get. Now for the test, I ran a few benchmarks using Heaven to actually see the results of the heat as well as the benchmark scores to see whether or not the cooling pad actually makes a difference in performance and heat. Now the tests actually ranged from completely flat on a wooden table without the cooler, then just the laptop on the cooler without any fans on, all the different heights, and lastly a test with the laptops with the fans maxed on the laptop as well as on the cooler to see the best case scenario and whether or not you actually see a big drastic difference in temperatures when you have the best case scenario. So I've run all the tests and some results were obvious and some not that obvious and let's kind of run through them. So firstly the results of the laptop just on the table and just on the cooling pad without any fans on were very similar and thus that was kind of the obvious one for me as no fans are on, it's gonna perform the same. It's just a different surface that your laptop's actually resting on. So if you're just gonna be using this as a normal stand, you're not gonna see that much difference in your temperatures. It's just gonna be the way you actually orientate your laptop. 
As far as the rest of the results, I'll have them all on the screen right now for you to look at the different benchmark scores as well as the different GPU temps to see whether or not the GPU actually got cooler and if it performed better with different scenarios. Now, as far as the results that I got, even though I did see a decrease in GPU temps for all of the tests, I didn't actually see a decrease in CPU temps as no matter how I orientated the laptop and no matter how much fans I turned on and off, the CPU temp always reached 90 degrees max. Now, in some cases after the test, the ambient temperature of the CPU was a little lower with the fans on, but it still spiked to 90, 89, no matter what I did. And for that reason, I have to say that this cooler didn't actually cool my CPU, even though it did make quite a big difference on the GPU temps. So as a final thought, is laptop coolers really worth it? And in my experience, I'm gonna say yes, I've always used laptop coolers. I've never had a laptop and not used one, and I've never had a bad experience with a laptop cooler where I actually increased the heat of my laptop and I've used it with three or four different laptops and they've all worked perfectly fine. And in general, everyday use, laptop coolers can actually help you keep down your ambient temperatures if you're just gonna be working or gaming. And for that reason, I have to say that it's a definite plus and the fact that you can actually use it in different scenarios with different height adjustments just makes it so versatile. So for me, I'd have to say, laptop coolers are definitely a must if you have a laptop. It just helps you out in so many ways. And if you want to pick up a laptop cooler, the Red Dragon GCP 500 is amazing. I use it for about a week now and it's really good. I've enjoyed every single bit of it. And the fact that you have a smartphone holder seems like something that's not major, but having your phone elevated on the side was kind of a cool thing and I really enjoyed that. As far as the Red Dragon GCP 500 goes, it's an amazing laptop cooler. I loved all the height adjustments that you get from it. It feels really stable, it feels really sturdy. It's also not that heavy, which is quite a big deal, especially if you're gonna have to be carrying that around in your laptop bag or in a backpack. It's definitely gonna help a lot not to have that much weight, especially if you have a heavy gaming laptop, all of that weight kind of adds up and it could turn into one heavy bag. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Also, if you are from South Africa, remember that you can actually enter the giveaway to win a Red Dragon GCP 500 gaming laptop cooler. All you have to do is go down to the link in the description below and enter over there. Now, if you have any questions regarding this product or any other product that I've done, leave a question down in the comment section below or head over to all of my other social media platforms and ask me over there. I love to get back to you guys and answer all of your questions. And until next time, cheers.